Hello and welcome guys to a new video for reception where we are back with the pen and paper method because this is the easiest way to explain you how to construct locus while doing a construction sum. If you like our video, do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and share this video with all your friends. If you haven't watched the first part of locus, go watch it. The link will be in the top right corner. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin with the first term which is Using a ruler and compass, construct number one a triangle ABC with AB is equal to 5.5 cm, BC is equal to 3.4 cm, and CA is equal to 4.9 cm. Number two, the locus of the points equidistant from A and B. Okay, this is the first question and this is an easy one. First, I'll construct AB which is 5.5 cm. Okay. Now I already have constructed 3.4 cm and 4.9 cm. When a triangle is given with three sides, you have to do it like this. Take a compass, make it the length of the length that you require of the triangle like this. From one side at the end, make an arc, something of this sort and then take the other length like this and then from the other side make the arc of that length the point of intersection will be the point of intersection of the two sides of your triangle okay something like this and over here this this is your constructed triangle this is a this is b and this is c Okay, the triangle is now constructed. Now what you have to construct more, you have to construct the locus of the points equidistant from A and B, from here and here. In the previous video, I told you that the locus of the point equidistant from two fixed points is the straight line or the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the two points. Now how to construct the perpendicular bisector of the line AB? It's pretty easy. Take the compass, uh, take the length more than half of AB, something like this and make arcs putting the point on a over here once in the below part and in the above part similarly from b like this and like this okay i have to increase the okay and then the point the line joining these two points Call this line what? GH line GH is the locus. Okay, this is how you construct the locus of points which is equidistant from two fixed points. Now we will move to the next sum. Moving on to the next question which is construct triangle ABC with AB is equal to 7 cm, BC is equal to 8 cm and angle ABC is equal to 60 cm. You have to locate by construction the point P such that number one P is equidistant from B and C and number two P is equidistant from AB and AC. Number three measure and record the length of PB. Now I have already constructed a triangle because triangle construct karna mein lamba time lagta hai. So BC is 8 cm, AB is 7 cm and the angle over here as stated is 60 degree. Okay. Now all this is easy constructing a triangle is easy. Now the first thing is P is equidistant from B and C. Now in the previous question also I told you a point which is equidistant from two fixed point is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the two points. So how do you make Compass lenge half length se jada BC ka. Something like this. Okay. And bisector bana denge. Either side se ek arc. Upper mein ek arc. Similarly, C pe rakhe, idhar ek arc, or idhar ek arc. Okay? And we'll join both the points. This apne ko pehla ka locus mil jayega. Now notice that we have to locate the point P. मतलब P जो होगा P वो इसी लाइन पर लाइ करेगा और वो कैसे निकालेंगे हम एक और कंडीशन दिया हुआ है P is equidistant from AB and AC the line AB and the line AC now in the previous video I told you 
the locus of a point equidistant from two intersecting line it is its angle bisector to angle bisector hoga angle a ka kaise karenge compass lenge thoda bada karenge aur aise construct kare uh, sorry a pe rakh ke aise ek line construct bar construct karenge yahan pe intersect kar raha hai yahan pe ek arc similarly is taraf se ek intersect kar raha hai तो यहां पे का ठीक है और ए से अपने इस पॉइंट को ज्वाइन कर देंगे समथिंग लाइक दिस ठीक है और अपने को अपना पॉइंट इधर पी मिल जाएगा जहां पे दोनों इंटरसेक्ट कर रहा है तो पॉइंट यहां पे कहीं है फॉर uh, एग्जांपल ये पकड़ लीजिए Now what we have to do, we have to measure and record the length of PB. बी ये पी है और ये बी है दोनों का लेंथ को रिकॉर्ड कर लिया जाए दी लेंथ इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव और फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर पी बी इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर दिस इज योर आंसर और ये आपका पूरा कंस्ट्रक्शन है मूविंग ऑन टू दर्ड क्वेश्चन विच इज A line segment AB is एट सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग यू हैव टू लोकेट बाई कंस्ट्रक्शन दी लोकस ऑफ पॉइंट विच इज नंबर वन इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम ए एंड बी नंबर टू ऑलवेज फोर सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम दी लाइन ए बी नंबर थ्री मार्क टू पॉइंट एक्स एंड वाई विच आर फोर सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम ए बी एंड इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम ए एंड बी यू हैव टू नेम दी फिगर ए एक्स बी वाई ठीक है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल कंस्ट्रक्ट अ लाइन सेगमेंट विच इज एट सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग स्केल फ्रॉम जीरो टू एट ओके डन दैट इज डन नाउ दी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आस्क अस टू फाइंड द लोकस ऑफ अ पॉइंट विच इज इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम ए एंड बी नाउ इन द प्रीवियस टू क्वेश्चन आई टोल्ड यू द लोकस ऑफ अ पॉइंट विच इज इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम टू फिक्स पॉइंट ए एंड बी इज द परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग द टू पॉइंट so what we do we take a compass we take its length more than the length of the line required something like this and we construct the perpendicular bisector how make arcs like this one below and one above from both the corresponding sides okay something like this and we join the points that are intersected to get the perpendicular bisector ओके, सो दिस इज योर फर्स्ट आंसर लेट्स मार्क इट व्हाट पी क्यू नंबर वन इज पी क्यू द लाइन पी क्यू इज द लोकस ऑफ द पॉइंट विच इज इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम ए एंड बी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज ऑलवेज फोर सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम द लाइन ए बी नाउ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू दैट इफ अ लाइन इज गिवन एंड यू आर आर्स टू फाइंड द लोकस ऑफ अ पॉइंट विच इज दैट इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम दैट लाइन that will be a parallel line above it and a parallel line below it at the equal distance and here the equal distance is stated 4 cm so we have to construct two lines which is at 4 cm from the line that we have drawn so this is 4 cm over here now you can draw it free handedly there is no problem 4 cm over here okay similarly 4 cm over here and 4 cm over here now just keep it in mind that you have to keep your scales straight and over here so the two lines the two parallel lines that we have constructed rs and uw will be the answer for number 2 the line rs and uw now number 3 you have to mark two points x and y which are 4 cm from ab now this whole line all the points on this line and this line are 4 cm from ab because this is 4 cm and this length is 4 cm okay and equidistant from a and b now all the points on this line are equidistant from a and b so the point of the intersection of both the lines will be the required points this one and this one hence this one is x and we call this one y as it is asked in the question and we join all the points 
So let's join them. And the figure that we get will be a square. Let's check it out. The length over here is 5.6, 5.6, and 5.6. Hence the figure AXBY is a square. Okay, now we'll move on to the next question. Moving on to the next and the final question of this video we have use ruler and compass only number one construct a triangle ABC in which BC is 6.5 cm angle ABC is 60 degree and AB is 5 cm we have already constructed a triangle over here BC is 6.5 cm AB is 5 cm and this angle ABC is 60 degree as stated number two you have to construct the locus of points at a distance of 3.5 cm from A now in the previous video I told you the locus of a point equidistant from a fixed point is a circle. Okay. Now over here the distance of 3.5 cm is given. That means the radius of that circle will be 3.5 cm. So I will take a compass 3.5 cm and then put it on A and construct the circle. Okay. I have constructed the circle, the radius of the circle is 3.5 cm. Number 3, construct the locus of points equidistant from AC and BC. Now I told you in the previous video and a few previous questions also, the locus of the points equidistant from two intersecting straight lines will be the angle bisector and the angle that will be bisected over here will be angle C. Okay, because the lines are AC and BC. So we take the compass. And put it on C, something like this. Okay, and over here and over here. I hope you can see over here. Okay, like this. Then we join the point with point C and we will get our angle bisector. This line is our angle bisector and also the answer to question number 3. You have to construct the locus of points equidistant from AC and BC. Now point number 4, you have to mark two points X, Y which are at a distance of 3.5 cm from A. Now 3.5 cm from A. All the points lying on the circumference of this circle are equal distance from A which is 3.5 cm. So the point will lie on this circle and which is equidistant from AC and BC. The points lying on this line are equidistant from AC and BC. Therefore, the line intersecting the circle will give us two points X and Y. So this will give us X and this intersection will give us Y. Let's measure it out. The measurement will be what? Around 5 cm. Okay. So the length of XY is 5 cm and this is your whole construction. So guys let's end this video over here. New videos are lined up and will be uploaded soon so stay tuned. Until then this is Edusception signing off.